There's nothing more costly than your fear of other people's opinions, and successful people really lean into fear. I think about how fear powers things a lot, especially as a woman. Six percent of the C-suite is women of color. So it's always scary to be a minority, but people think that fear is like the absence of bravery. When fear is not the absence of bravery, it's the ability to push the fear aside and just move forward because we attract things based on what we do, not what we want. It's really important to me to share my learnings as a founder and as an operator with women and people of color and honestly everybody who thinks they have a lesser shot of getting into a position of power. Because you start to realize really quickly that often the difference between mega success and some success and no success at all is really good method. And here's the thing is that there's a lot of studies that show that people who are average performers become excellent performers with a little bit of mentorship, whereas people who are very under average never really make the so cut. So if you feel like you're pretty good at your job, but you can grow, aren't quite sure how to, listen to books, find a mentor, listen to podcasts, figure out people who've done it really well. And if you have an organization, bring in people who look like you to speak if you're underrepresented in that work. Here I am speaking for T-Mobile's Women in Technology in Kansas City, which turns out is a gorgeous freaking city. That's why I share my learnings online for free on Substack and during talk. Access to opportunity should never be gatekept.